agribusiness is where we cut costs and maximize profits. Therefore, let us do some small mathematics of the cost of production in rearing of fish. We'll start with a fish pond. If you're constructing a fish pond, what are the costs that you consider? For a rainer pond, we need several materials. We need equipment, we need machinery, we need labor, and we need a polythene. So, what is the overall cost? Assuming you're constructing a fish pond of 20 by 20 meters and a dike of 2 meters. Therefore, it is 22 times 22 meters. When constructing a liner pond, there are factors to consider while choosing the polythene gauge. A hard gauge is not recommended while constructing a fish pond as it is hard to fold and also can break during operations. Therefore, a standard gauge of about 3 mm to 5 mm is recommended. This makes it easier for operations. For a standard polythene with a gauge of about 3 mm to 5 mm thickness, the average cost is $2.5. Let's give an example. If we are constructing a pond of 20 by 20 meters, you require a liner paper of 22 by 22 meters because you will have to tuck it in the dike. Therefore, the total size of the liner paper will be 484 meters squared. The cost of the liner paper will be 484 meters squared multiplied by 2.5 five dollars per meter which will be 1210 us dollars when constructing our fish pond we can do hired labor or manual labor you can use a tractor or hired human labor for a tractor to construct your fish pond you require a tractor for a day which is charged hourly for a 22 by 22 meters fish pond you require one tractor for one hour. And usually, the average cost of hiring a tractor is between 70 to 100 dollars per hour. For human labor, to construct the same size of a fish pond, you require at least five men per day for five days. One laborer is paid an average of five dollars per day. Therefore, the total cost will be 125 US dollars for the five days. For equipment, you require pipes and valves. Therefore, it is usually recommended that where you are constructing a fish pod to be nearer the water source to reduce your cost of construction. The pipes and the valves used to construct the inlet and the outlet in a fish pod is an average of 35 dollars. While constructing the fish pond, remember you need a reliable source of water, either from a well or a borehole or a nearby river. After constructing the fish pond, you now fill it with water and it is ready to stock with the fingerings. So, remember that you have to get your fingerings from a certified hatchery. The stocking density is three to four fish per meter squared. Therefore, in our fish pond of 20 by 20 meters, we require 1,600 fingerings. The cost of one fingering is an average of $0.1, and we require 1,600 fingerings. Therefore, in our case, we shall require 160 US dollars. The feeding conversion ratio of the fish is 1.5. Meaning, if you, um, if you want to harvest your fish with an average weight of 500 grams, you need 750 grams of food per fish. For our case of 1,600 fish, we shall require 1,200 kilograms of feed 
until maturity. The average cost of one kilo of feed is one dollar. In our case, we shall require 1200 US dollars. Remember, we have to feed our fish in an interval of about two hours. Therefore, if you are not there, you need to hire a laborer to feed the fish. The average cost of one laborer is five dollars per day. Therefore, the average cost of the hired labor per month is an average of 120 to 150 US dollars. We shall add some miscellaneous costs, which include the cost of a wind scale, the cost of fencing the fish pod to avoid predators, and the cost of a bird net if necessary, which can be an average of $500. The expected weight for a fish ready for harvesting is about 500 grams. A kilo of fish is about four to five dollars. And remember, our fish is about 500 grams. Therefore, our market price will be two to 2.5 US dollars. If we harvest all our 1,600 fish in the fish pond, and you sell them at a market price of two to 2.5 US dollars, you are going to get a turnover of about 3,200 to 4,000 US dollars. When a farmer starts fish rearing, it is expected that during the first cycle, the farmer might not break even or might not get the estimated gross margin profits because of the high initial cost of preparations. Fish farming involves a lot of fixed costs. Example of the labor of construction, the cost of the fish pond liners and the miscellaneous costs involved, which will not be incurred during the second cycle of fish rearing. 